Howdy, it's Tubal Cain again. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about sign bars. It's not something you use real often, but uh, a sign bar is, uh, uh, we have one here in a box, a 5 inch sign bar, and it's nothing more than a tool that is used to measure angles in metalworking. Now you can measure incredibly accurate with uh, a sign bar, so much more so than with uh, common protractors that you see around the machine shop and I even someplace around here I've got one of those brown and sharp protractors that will measure uh, down to a, a minute but these uh, sign bars will allow you to measure or do layout work within uh, let's say 10 degrees 11 minutes or whatever you want there 60 minutes in a degree so they're extremely accurate now a five inch is the most common size but they do make a ten inch and then I have here a little um, five incher this is just kind of a cheap one from Travers and it's handy because it's slim enough to where you can fit it in the vise of your milling machine but we won't talk about that so much today but we're going to talk about uh, the sign bar and then in the next video I'm going to tell you uh, several applications uh, for the sign bar, but today we'll just discuss the sign bar itself. Now, if you want to uh, find out more about sign bars, go to uh, wisconsinonline.com and do a search for sign bar. And they have a little animated uh, feature there on sign bars that I think is so well done and better than anything that I can do right here. A sign bar uh, was a project that was often made by a tool maker apprentice in his last uh, year of the apprenticeship uh, because this is an accurate tool and it was kind of the right to passage for a uh, tool and die maker or a machinist. This is a commercially made one by Fowler. It is exactly five inches from the center of this cylinder to the center of this cylinder. And since that is five inch, five inches exactly, if you use your uh, machinery handbook and there's ten pages or so of sign bar constants and they all refer to a five inch sign bar. So I'm sure that you either have one of these handbooks or you can get one, but you will need this, a sign bar, and a set of gauge blocks. Now I don't have a full set of gauge blocks. I have one lousy gauge block. I don't know where it came from but I use it to check my micrometers. This is a Weber gauge block. Those can be bought uh, through Sterrett. But a set of gauge blocks costs hundreds of dollars and they make them in different accuracies but even the cheapest shop grade is very very accurate and the, the, the laboratory ones are lapped to within a millionth of an inch so they're just very expensive. But uh, if you don't have these, uh, you can buy a set of these measuring uh, uh, discs, pretty cheap. I think these are only about thirty dollars. And a combination of these stacked together will give you just about any possible uh, thickness measurement that you would want or that you would find in that machinery handbook. So you will need uh, these or gauge blocks in conjunction with the sign bar. And here's the reason why. We take a sign bar. Now this is on a granite uh, surface plate, so you need to do this on a very accurate surface, not just a wooden bench. But if you put, uh, this is one inch, if we put the one inch under there like that, uh, and we look it up here, we will find uh, the exact uh, angle that it is setting at. I'm just doing that as an example, because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look up an angle in this book and I'm going to uh, put my gauges together and lay them under there to show you how to set it. So what I'm going to do is set this for 10 degrees and 10 minutes and that is 0.88255 thousandths. So I'm going to gather the necessary blocks out of here and ring them together and uh, show you how that is done. Now, in order to get 
10 degrees and 10 minutes on the sine bar, we need uh, 882 thousandths. I'm going to forget about the uh, fives on the end, and that figure was found in the machinist's handbook. But since we do not have a genuine set of Joe blocks, uh, we're kind of on a budget here. The closest I can get is 882 thousandths, and I did that by selecting a block in here, uh, one that was 700, one that was 80 thousandths, and one that was 102 thousandths. It gives me a total of 882 thousandths. Those are stacked together, and these don't ring together very well. That's W R I N G because they are used and have a few scratches on them. But if you got a brand new set or you got gauge blocks, you can ring them together. And what that means is that uh, after you wipe them, slide them together like this. Uh, they should stick together and I can't get them to do it because they are too old. So instead, these are threaded holes. I've got them uh, screwed together with a set screw that's supplied in this kit. And then if we were to measure them, does that show up? See, we've got 882 thousandths. Depending on how, how tightly I move the calipers. So we know that this is accurate. If you don't have a set of these, you could actually machine something or grind a, a piece of stock to whatever size you, you wanted very accurately. It would serve the same purpose. And doing this on a, a surface plate now, wipe everything clean, and when we lay the uh, sign bar on the blocks, we know that this angle now is 10 degrees and 10 minutes. Now since we dropped the 5.5 five over there that might throw us off a few seconds but we are pretty darn close to being 10 degrees 10 minutes. That's so much more accurate than using a protractor if you're doing something that really matters. Now a lot of times it does not matter. Now that could be repeated by uh, and you can find any angle you want there's several pages of these and it tells you how much your blocks need to be. Now I didn't uh, mention anything about trigonometry but this is all about trigonometry and a sine is a function of trigonometry. If you've had that you will understand some of this and I'm not going to go into that because I'm not that sharp on trig myself. It's many years since I've had trig but this is all about triangles which Trigonometry is triangles, the uh, study of triangles. And the top part here is the hypotenuse, and then we've got uh, the right angle down here. And uh, we're just ch uh, ch changing uh, the angle by stacking these up. And that's all I'm going to say about the math. I'm not too good at that, but if you look on that website, you're going to find out uh, a lot more about that. But this is what a sign bar is. And uh, then this could be put right in your milling machine vise and a, and a piece of material laid on there if you're going to uh, uh, mill it. Or it could be uh, used on the bench here for uh, measurement or layout or inspection. So don't let the word sign bar scare you. You can get these fairly cheap now. Of course they're all made in China but they're still plenty accurate. They are hardened and they are ground and precision made usually come in some kind of fitted case. Hope this was helpful uh, if you're interested in uh, sign bars at all and uh, go to that website. Now watch the next uh, video and I'm going to show you a couple things that we can do with the sign bar including setting the head on the bridge port and we'll use that spindle square that I showed you a few videos back and uh, set the head for, the, for uh, an angle. These also can be used on the lathe to set the compound or the uh, uh, tailstock offset. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now. I'm going to show you an alternate way of calculating uh, the amount of rise that you need on these blocks if you do not have a machinery handbook. If you do not have this book with all the tables we can do it uh, mathematically, however you will need this little book of uh, trig tables that most machinists have. 
and there still isn't really any math involved all you will do is uh, we're going to calculate it for 12 and a half degrees so find which is 12 degrees 30 minutes we're on page uh, the page that shows 12 degrees and then uh, 30 minutes is halfway down here and we've got columns here sine cosine tangent and so on we're not interested in any of them except the very first column which is the sine so go on down to 30 and it is 0.216 and change so that is the number we want and it's that simple and then we multiply that times the length of the bar and we've got two different bars here we've got a five inch bar and we got this little three inch bar I think I called this uh, something else before but it's this is a three inch bar and in order to get the twelve and a half degrees which is twelve degrees thirty minutes we find we just found the sine of 12 degrees 30 minutes which is this and for a 5 inch bar multiply it times 5 and you come out with 1.082 that is how much uh, sp how many spacers I have stacked here for that 1.082 for the 3 inch bar it's uh, 3 times the sine which is 649 and I have stacked these uh, little spacers to 649 so both of these are going to be set for 12 and a half degrees when I set the sine bar on that that's 12 and a half degrees that's the 5 inch bar when I set the uh, smaller 3 inch bar on this it'll also be 12 and a half degrees I have to be careful not to set it into that set screw hole there or I would get a false reading so both of those sign bars are set for 12 and a half degrees in that manner without using the big table book but I guess you do have to use the small table book you wouldn't even need this if you knew all of your trig functions and are uh, just able to find the sign of uh, an angle uh, mathematically which you probably learned many years ago in math and have long forgotten as I have to and all machinists use these tables here. They don't uh, do a whole lot of math. Hope that was helpful.